Hi all, welcome to another video of Fitness Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from Pharmacology in the chapter Tetracyclines and Chloramphenicol. Tetracycline and Chloramphenicol coming under antimicrobials. The first question of the video, the most important mechanism by which tetracycline antibiotics exert antimicrobial action is, what is the mechanism of action of tetracycline, that is the question. Option A, the chelate calcium ions and they alter permeability of the bacterial cell membrane. Option B, they bind to 30S ribosomes and inhibit bacterial protein synthesis. Option C, they bind to 50S ribosome and interfere with translocation of the growing peptide chain in the bacteria. Option D, the, they interfere with DNA mediated RNA synthesis in bacteria. The correct answer for this question is it will bind with the 30S ribosome and inhibit bacterial protein synthesis. That is option B is the correct answer. That is the tetracycline mechanism of action. While chloramphenicol, here we said it, this 30S ribosome. While the chloro chloramphenicol will bind with 50S ribosome. You had noted on that also chloramphenicol will bind with 50S ribosome while this one tetracycline will bind with 30S, 30S ribosome. Now we will, we will move to the second question. Select the most potent tetracycline antibiotic. The most potent tetracycline antibiotic options are democlocycline, democlocycline Oxytetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline. The correct answer for this question is minocycline. Minocycline is the most potent tetracycline. The third question. The following tetracycline has the potential to cause vestibular toxicity. The following tetracycline has the potential to cause vestibular toxicity or the tetracycline which has vestibular toxicity as the adverse reaction. Adverse reaction is option A, minocycline, option B, demiclocycline, option C, doxycycline, option D, tetracycline. The question was the tetracycline which has the potential to cause vestibular toxicity. The correct answer for this question is minocycline. Minocycline is the correct answer for this question that is it, ha it has got vestibular toxicity. Now we will move to the fourth question. An eight-year-old, an eight-year-old child presented with brownish discolored and deformed anterior teeth. That is eight-year-old child presented with brownish discolored and deformed anterior teeth. History of having received an antibiotic about four years earlier was obtained. Which antibiotic could be responsible for the condition? Options are Chloramphenicol, tetracycline, erythromycin, gendamycin. The question I will repeat one more time. An 8 year old child presented with brownish, discolored, and deformed anterior teeth. History of having received an antibiotic about 4 years earlier was obtained. That is the antibiotic which causes brownish discoloration and deformation of the teeth in the child means in the child in children that is the question the name of the antibiotic which causes which causes brownish discoloration and deformation of teeth in children is 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 option a chloramphenicol option b tetracycline option c erythromycin option d gendamycin the correct answer for this question is tetracycline Tetracycline causes discoloration of the teeth. Now the fifth question, the most suitable tetracycline for the use in a patient with impaired renal function. Impaired renal function, that is, which has got low renal toxicity. That is, the patient with impaired renal function 
which of the following tetra cycling can be safely used option a tetra cycling option b demi cyclo cycling option c oxy tetra cycling option d doxy cycling the correct answer for this question is doxy cycling why because it has got low renal toxicity doxy cycling has got low renal toxicity that's why it can be used in the uh, patient with uh, impaired renal function now the sixth question Chloramphenicol inhibit the bacterial protein synthesis by option A the mechanism of action of chloramphenicol option A binding to 30s ribosome and inhibit the attachment of amino acid tRNA option B binding to 50s ribosome and preventing peptide bond formation option C binding to 50s ribosome and blocking the translocation of peptide chain option d binding to both 30s as well as 50s ribosome and inducing misreading of mrna code the correct answer for this question is chloramphenicol will bind with the 50s ribosome and it prevents peptide bond formation that is the correct answer for this chloramphenicol mechanism of action seventh question the following antibiotic penetrate blood cerebrospinal fluid barrier the best options are erythromycin gentamicin tetracycline chloramphenicol the antibiotic which penetrate blood csf barrier the best option a erythromycin option b gentamicin option c tetracycline option d chloramphenicol the correct answer for this question is chloramphenicol eighth question what is true of drug therapy of typhoid fever what is true statement about the drug therapy of typhoid fever option a combination of chloramphenicol with ciprofloxacin is superior to either drug alone combination of chloramphenicol with ciprofloxacin is superior to either drug alone option b ciprofloxacin option c ciprofloxacin is one of the fastest acting iv and most dependent treatment option c prolonged treatment with chloramphenicol eradicates typhoid carrier stage option d all of the above are correct the correct answer for this question is ciprofloxacin iv is the one of the fastest acting treatment method and most dependent dependable treatment now ninth question what is the most important reason for the restricted use of systemic chloramphenicol what is the most important reason for the restricted use of systemic chloramphenicol option a emergence of chloramphenicol resistance option b its potential to cause bone marrow depression option c its potential to cause super infection option d its potential to inhibit the metabolism of many drugs the question was what is the most important reason for the restricted use of systemic chloramphenicol the correct answer for this one is its potential to cause bone marrow depression because of the potential to cause bone marrow depression this chloramphenicol is chloramphenicol systemic use is restricted now the 10th question chloramphenicol is more active than tetracycline against chloramphenicol is more active than tetracycline against option a bacteroid fragilis option b trypanoma pallidum option c streptococci option d staphylococci the correct answer for this question chloramphenicol is more active than tetracycline against bacteroides fragilis that is option a is the correct answer for this question so thank you guys for watching this video hope uh, you understood this uh, chapter these questions very well thank you